द कंप्रेसिबिलिटी फैक्टर फॉर अ रियल गैस एट अ हाई प्रेशर इज सो प्रेशर प्लस ए अपॉन वी स्क्वेर इंटू वी माइनस बी इज इक्वल टू आर टी एट अ हाई प्रेशर ए बाय वी स्क्वेर कैन बी निग्लेक्टेड सो पी वी माइनस पी बी इज इक्वल टू आर टी सो पी वी इज इक्वल टू आर टी प्लस पी बी दे फो पी वी अपॉन आर टी इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस पी बी अपॉन आर टी दे फो जेड इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस पी बी अपॉन आर टी दे फो जेड इज ग्रेटर देन वन एट हाई प्रेशर सो ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर द कंप्रेशन फैक्टर दैट इज कंप्रेसिबिलिटी फैक्टर फॉर वन मोल ऑफ वेंडर वॉल्स गैस एट जीरो डिग्री एंड हंड्रेड एटमोसफियर प्रेशर इज फाउंड टू बी पॉइंट फाइव अज्यूमिंग दैट द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द गैस मॉलिक्यूल इज नेग्लिजिबल कैलकुलेट द वेंडर वॉल्स कॉन्स्टेंट ए सो वी नो दैट जेड इज इक्वल टू पी वी अपॉन आर टी विच इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड वी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट टू इंटू टू सेवेंटी थ्री कैलविन विच इज जीरो पॉइंट वन वन टू लीटर्स द वॉल्यूम इज जीरो पॉइंट वन वन टू लीटर्स सो अकॉर्डिंग टू वेंडर वॉल्स इक्वेशन पी प्लस ए अपॉन वी स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू इंटू वी माइनस बी इज इक्वल टू आर टी सो सब्सिंग द वैल्यूज वी गेट हंड्रेड प्लस ए अपॉन जीरो पॉइंट वन वन टू द होल स्क्वेर इंटू जीरो पॉइंट वन वन टू माइनस जीरो इज इक्वल टू आर इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट टू वन इंटू टू सेवेंटी थ्री सो ए कम्स आउट टू बी वन पॉइंट टू फाइव थ्री एल स्क्वेर पर मोल स्क्वेर पर एटम सो ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर द वेंडर वॉल्स कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर फोर गैसेज पी क्यू आर एस आर फोर पॉइंट वन सेवन थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सेवन सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन वन एंड थ्री पॉइंट एट एटमोसफियर लीटर स्क्वेयर पर मोल स्क्वेयर दे फोर द सेंडिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ द लिक्विफैक्शन इज easily liquefiable gas have greater intermolecular force which is represented by a value a so the greater the value of a more will be liquefiability so the order is q s p R. So, option C is the correct answer. Fifty mL of each gas A and B takes one fifty and two hundred seconds respectively for effusing through an pinhole under the similar condition. If the molecular mass of B is thirty six, the molecular mass of gas will be. So we know that V A by T A upon V B by T B. Is equal to root of m b m a. Substituting the values, two hundred divided by one fifty equal to root of thirty six m a. So on solving this, we get sixteen by nine is equal to thirty six m a. Therefore, m a is equal to eighty one by four, which is twenty point two five. so the closest answer is 32 option c is the correct answer the rms velocity of molecule of gas of density 4 kg meter cube and pressure 1.2 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square is so the rms velocity of gas is equal to root of 3p upon d where d is density And pressure is this. Substituting the values, RMS is equal to root of three into one point two into ten raised to five divided by four, which comes out to be nine into ten raised to four, which is three hundred meter per second. So option D is the correct answer. At what temperature is the average velocity of oxygen molecule 
equal to the root mean square velocity at 27 degrees celsius so we want average velocity is equal to rms velocity root of 8 rt upon pi m which is equal to root of 3 rt upon m taking out the square root 8 pi 8 rt upon pi m is equal to 3 r substituting the values of temperature upon m therefore temperature is equal to 353.57 k which is 80.57 degree celsius so option a is the correct answer if the rms is this and 27 degrees celsius then the calculate of molecular mass of the gas in kilogram so rms is equal to root of 3 rt upon m so the rms is root of 30 square r is root of 3 rt upon m and for 30 into 30 r 3R into 300 upon M. Therefore, M comes out to be 0.001 kg. So, option D is the correct answer. The ratio of most probable velocity to that of average velocity is. So, most probable velocity be MP and average velocity is this. Substituting the values root of 2rt upon m divided by 8rt upon pi m so this roots come out to be root pi upon 2 so option c is the correct answer molecular velocity of two gases at the same temperature are u1 and u2 their masses are m1 and m2 respectively which of the following is correct so u1 upon u2 is equal to m2 upon m1 into t1 upon t2 since t1 is equal to t2 we can write this as u1 square upon u2 square is equal to m2 upon m1 therefore m1 u1 square is equal to m2 u2 square so option d is the correct answer at what temperature the rms velocity of so2 be same as that of oxygen at 303 kelvin so rms of so2 divided by rms of oxygen is equal to molecular mass of oxygen temperature of so2 molecular mass of so2 temperature of oxygen substituting the values which comes out to be 1 the ratio therefore 1 is equal to 32 divided by 64 into temperature of SO2 303 Kelvin on so solving this temperature of SO2 is 606 Kelvin so option B is the correct answer the average kinetic energy of an ideal gas per molecule in SI unit at 25 degrees Celsius will be so the average kinetic energy per molecule will be Ke is equal to 3 kt upon 2 so 3 by 2 into k is gas constant divided by per molecule so 8.314 divided by 6 into 10 raised to 23 which is Avogadro number into temperature temperature is 298 kelvins on solving this we get kinetic energy is equal to 6.17 into 10 raised to minus 21 joules so option B is the correct answer. The temperature at which RMS velocity of SO2 molecule is half that of helium molecule at 300 Kelvin. So RMS velocity of SO2 and of oxygen is equal to half. So mass of helium into temperature of SO2 divided by mass of SO2 into temperature of helium putting the values we get 4 divided by 64 therefore 
temperature of SO2 on solving this equation we get 1200 kelvins so option D is the correct answer the ratio of root mean square velocity to average velocity of gas molecule at a particular temperature is so RMS velocity is equal to root of 3RT upon M average velocity is equal to 8RT upon pi M so the ratio comes out to be 3 pi upon 8 so on solving this we get 66 upon 56 so the ratio comes out to be 1.086 upon 1 so option A is the correct answer two gases A and B having same volume diffuse through a porous partition in 10 and 20 and 10 seconds respectively the molecular mass of A is 49 units the molecular mass of B will be so RA upon RB is equal to root of MB upon MA so R we can write is as RMS velocity per second so for A is 10 and 20 which is equal to root of mv upon 49 so on squaring we get 1 by 4 is equal to mv upon 49 therefore mv is equal to mass of b is 12.25 so option c is the correct answer 2 mole of helium is mixed with 2 gram of hydrogen the more heat molar heat capacity at constant pressure of mixture is so CP1 for helium is equal to 5 by 2 R and CP2 for hydrogen comes out to be 7 by 2 R number of moles of helium is 2 and of hydrogen is 1 so CP is equal to N1 CP1 plus N2 CP2 divide by n1 plus n2 substituting the values we get 2 into 5 by 2 r plus 1 into 7 by 2 r divide by 3 so on solving this we get 17 by 6 r so option a is the correct answer the density of air is this the vapor density of air will be so density is equal to mass upon volume density is equal to vapor density into 2 upon volume as mass is equal to 2 into vapor density so vapor density is equal to dv divided by 2 so vapor density is 0 0.00130 into 22400 is the volume divided by 2 on solving this we get 14.56 gram so option d is the correct answer internal energy and pressure of a gas per unit volume are related as so kinetic energy is equal to 3 rt upon 2 n rt n is the number of mole so 3 by 2 pv can also be written therefore pressure is equal to 2 by 3 ev so when volume is 1 as it is unit volume we can write this as pressure is equal to 2 by 3 e where e is the internal energy therefore option a is the correct answer the density of a gas is three times that of gas b if the molecular mass of a is m1 the molecular mass of b is we know that density is directly proportional to mass therefore d1 upon d2 is equal to m1 upon m2 substituting the values 3d upon d is equal to m upon m2 we have to find m2 cross multiply m2 is equal to m by 3 so option c is the correct answer in which of the following 
does the given amount of chlorine exert the least pressure in a vessel of capacity 1 dm cube at 273 kelvin so pressure is directly proportional to n which is number of moles molecule of weight is equal to 71 gram for chlorine so 0 0.3 0 3 5 5 gram is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 4 moles so 0 0.71 0 0.071 gram will be 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 moles therefore 6.023 into 10 raised to 21 molecule has 0 0.01 moles therefore 0 0.02 moles will be in 1 dm cube so option a is the correct answer equal mass of methane and oxygen are mixed in an empty container at 25 degrees celsius the fraction of the total pressure exerted by oxygen is so let the mass of methane and oxygen is W mole fraction of oxygen so which can be written as W upon 32 W upon 32 plus W upon 16 so let the total pressure be P we can write this as 1 by 32 equal to 1 by 32 plus 1 by 16 which comes out to be 1 by 3 on solving the pressure exerted by oxygen is the partial pressure into total pressure so P into 1 by 3 hence C is the correct answer the density of oxygen is 16 at NTP at what temperature its density will be 14 consider the pressure remain constant at T so D1 T1 is equal to D2 T2 where P remains constant D1 is 16 D2 is 14 T1 is 273 Kelvin so we have to find T2 so substituting the values we get T2 is equal to 312 Kelvin converting into degree T2 is equal to 39 degrees Celsius so option B is the correct answer at what temperature the sample of neon gas would be heated to double of its pressure if the initial volume of gas is reduced to 15% at 75 degrees Celsius so we know that P1 is equal to P, V1 is equal to V, T1 is equal to 273 plus 15 uh, plus 75 which comes out to be 348 Kelvin. P2 is equal to 2P, V2 is equal to 85 that is 15% reduced of volume 1. We have to find T2. So putting the values PV upon 348 is equal to 2P 85V upon 100 T2. On solving this we get T2 is equal to 591 Kelvin which is 318.6 degrees Celsius. Option A is the closest answer. Container A and B of same gases, pressure, volume and temperature of A are all twice that of B then the ratio of number of molecule of A and B are so according to the gas law PV is equal to NRT so N is equal to PV upon RT so NA upon NB is equal to P1 V1 upon T1 is equal to into T2 P2 V2 substituting values 2P into 2V upon 2T into T P V Na upon N B. Therefore Na upon N B comes out to be 2 upon 1. So option B is the correct answer. At NTP the density of gas whose molecular weight is 45 is. So density of gas is equal to molecular weight of metal upon volume. So 45 divided by 22.4 which comes out to be 2 gram per litre. 
सो ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर एट एस टी पी वन ग्राम ऑफ कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट ऑन डिकम्पोजिशन गिव्स कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो टू फाइंड द वॉल्यूम सो सी ए सी ओ थ्री ऑन डिकम्पोजिशन गिव्स सी ए ओ प्लस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो यर द वेट इज हंड्रेड ग्राम गिव्स ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर लीटर सो एट एस टी पी हंड्रेड ग्राम प्रोड्यूसर्स ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर लीटर ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो वन ग्राम will produce 22.4 divided by 100 which comes out to be 0.224 liters of carbon dioxide option c the vapor density of gas is 11.2 the volume occupied by 11 11.2 gram of this gas at ntp is so the molecular weight is equal to vapor density into 2 so 11.2 into 2 is equal to 22.4 so the volume of 22.4 gram of substance at ntp is 22.4 liter so 1 gram substance as at ntp will be 1 liter so 11.2 gram of substance will be 11.2 liters so option b is the correct answer a bottle of cold drink contains 200 mol liquid in which carbon dioxide is 0.1 molar suppose carbon dioxide behave like an ideal gas the volume of dissolved carbon dioxide at stp is so the number of moles of carbon dioxide present is 200 ml in solution which is equal to molarity into volume in liter so molarity is 0.1 into 200 upon 1000 converting into liters which is 0.02 is the number of moles so the volume of 0.02 moles of carbon dioxide comes out to be 22.4 into 0.02 which is 0.448 liters so option b is the correct answer two gases bulb a and b are connected by a tube having a stop cock bulb a has a volume of 100 ml contains hydrogen after opening the gas from a to the evacuated bulb b the pressure falls down to 40% the volume of b will be so according to boyle's law we know that pa va is equal to 0.4 pa va as the volume fall down to 40% so 100 pa is equal to 0.4 pa va so v vb so vb is equal to 250 cc before opening the stop cock the volume of the bulb b must be 250 minus 100 which is 150 ml option b A 4 dm cube flask containing nitrogen and 4 bar are connected to 6 dm cube flask containing helium at 6 bar. The gases are allowed to mix isothermally. Then the total pressure resulting mixture will be. So at constant temperature, according to Boyle's law, P1 V1 plus P2 V2 is equal to P mixture and volume mixture. So 4 into 4 plus 6 into 6 is equal to P mixture into 6 plus 4. So P mixture is equal to 52 by 10, which is 5.2 bar. Option B is the correct answer. There are 6.02 into 10 raised to 22 molecules, each of nitrogen, hydro, oxygen, and hydrogen, which are mixed together at 760 mm and at 273 kelvin. The mass of the mixture in grams is so 6. Zero to into ten raised to twenty-two molecules of these gases. So moles of each will be six point zero two into ten raised to twenty-two divided by six point zero two into ten raised to twenty-three mole of each. So weight of mixture is equal to weight of zero point one mole of nitrogen, point one mole of hydrogen plus point one mole of oxygen. so which comes out to be 28 into 0.1 plus 2 into 0.1 plus 
into 0 0.1 which comes out to be 6.2 gram so option A is the correct answer